Welcome, my fellow truth seekers, to the Murado Minute. Let's go beneath the surface. Why is it that people point up when referring to heaven? It's an interesting phenomenon. Are they pointing to the sky, to outer space, or perhaps past the created universe? It's fascinating that most languages use the same word for sky as they do for heaven. It seems embedded in the human psyche that God is high and his dwelling place up. But what does this mean? Isn't God everywhere? This kind of language is also found in the Bible. God is called the Most High. Jacob's ladder reaches up to heaven. The second person of God came down from heaven in the incarnation, and he ascends into heaven at the ascension. The gospel is explicit in its imagery. Jesus was taken up into a cloud before vanishing from sight. But is this physical imagery, is it meant to be metaphorical? Does the cloud symbolize the Holy Spirit, for example, as in the case of the Old Testament? And is God up in the sense, in, in, in another sense, that is, that is not spatial? At this point, I lean toward believing that upness and highness are ways of communicating God's greaterness in being. Now, to understand this, we need to look at a basic knowledge of Thomistic philosophy, which unfortunately has been abandoned by the Western world for some time now. But, but my take is that upness and highness are ways to communicate ontological greatness. God is most high because he is pure act. In short, this means God is not a being, but rather eternal and infinite being itself. It's no coincidence that in the book of Exodus, he named himself I am. Therefore, God is infinite highness or the most high. And the word uh, and, and uh, the more godlike creatures are, the higher they become. Heaven is the realm of created beings actualized and transformed by his divine life. Go to my Facebook page, which is on the screen, uh, to see a longer Socratic discussion on this phenomenon of upness. And join the discussion, why don't you? It's dated February, it's dated January, rather, January 28th, 2022 which coincidentally happens to be the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas. That's your Murano Minute. May God's peace be with you.